and welcome. I'm Amy Maxwell from CityWire and I'm pleased today to be joined by Tom Caddick, Managing Director of NED Group International and Fund Managers Alex Ralph and David Roberts from the newly established Palomar Fixed Income, the first in-house boutique powered by NED Group Investments. This is the first episode in a three-part series designed to introduce Palomar Fixed Income, the people behind it and the strategies within it. A warm welcome to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Tom, I'm going to start with you. Um, tell us more about NED Group Investments and how you, Palomar Fixed Income came into being. We do have a real founder's mentality to the way in which we do things. We're deeply rooted, first of all, in, in South Africa and now within our UK and international markets. And that founder's mentality really feeds through into a more entrepreneurial spirit in the way in which we do things and the sort of businesses that that we look to partner up with. At its very heart, we are a business that looks to identify the really exceptional managers out there and bring their strategies to market. That's the, the core of what we do. And traditionally, the business model has been to find that exceptional talent externally. And, and this, I understand, with Palomar Fixed Income is the first boutique you've brought in-house. Up to this point, we've really pursued a, an external boutique model where we partner up with specialists in different asset classes. And now this gives us an opportunity to really broaden what we do. It's designed to complement uh, what we've done so far, but also to bring new strategies to market. And this does give us greater flexibility. And of course, we're at a pivotal time for fixed income. We've, we've seen a, a, a huge shift in the market dynamics, and this is a fixed income offering. So it's a great timing here, wouldn't you say? It's really exciting timing. Uh, I think. First of all, it's the asset class itself. I mean, for the first time in, for some, their first time within the market that they can actually see a uh, fixed income doing what traditionally you would expect it to do. But now in this sort of environment where the guardrails are off, quantitative easing has ended, it's now more than ever you need experience, you need skill, but the opportunity is there to drive alpha in this space. But it's a really exciting time for fixed income generally. And it's an exciting time for us because we've been able to partner up with two managers that I think are very widely perceived as the very best in class in fixed income that I'm pleased to say I've known for sort of more than two decades now. It, you know, the, the grey hair counts for that uh, to a certain extent. But, you know, it's a really good opportunity for us to bring two of the very best managers to market. Can we have the backstory of how, how you all met and how you, you've been <laughs> reunited? Maybe, David, yeah, I'll start with absolutely. you. Absolutely, yeah. So, I mean, I've been in, in markets since the 1980s, sadly. Uh, there's a bit of an uh, um, uh, admission. Um, first 10 years or so in banking and then 20 odd years, 25 years or so in fund management. For me, uh, a couple of years ago, it just clearly, uh, in my view, there was very, very little opportunity. I think it was Thomas hinted at for, for investors in bonds. It was just a dangerous place to be. A lot of downside risk and not much hope of positive return. So, you know, I found it difficult to continue to to try to effectively sell product to, to clients on that basis. Um, but if we fast forward to, um, you know, mid to late 2023, uh, from that point on, in my mind, there became really good opportunities for clients. The ability to generate alpha to seek excess return is just like as good as it's been for at least a decade. And I would say that whole QE period, that which, which Tom, Alex and I have discussed quite a bit, um, I found frustrating is maybe the wrong word, but boring. It made the, the job too one-dimensional, whereas now uh, in 2024, a big part of the reason for, for me wanting to come back to the market is just the sheer um, breadth of opportunity we have, hopefully, to add value for clients. So we're seeing a bit of a shakeout, which uh, professionally, I imagine, Alex, you share in, in David's excitement. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really good time to come back to the market. We are seeing cross geography opportunities in between uh, credit rating opportunities, um, opportunities across interest rate duration as well. So, yeah, there's so many ways we can add alpha and beta that we haven't, as David said, seen for quite some time. So it's very exciting times. And you have quite different skill sets, but, but complementary skill sets. So do you want to talk about your expertise? Um, so my uh, um, area of expertise, if you like, is very much on the micro top downside. Uh, as Alex has mentioned, looking for opportunities across 
geographies to try to take advantage of perhaps slightly disparate interest rate cycles. Yeah, so my expertise is more on the bottom up um, stock selection driven from the credit side of things, both high yield and investment grade. And even though our backgrounds are slightly different, we actually have, when we met up, we realised we had a very similar philosophy in the way that we run money. Uh, we both have an eye on the risk that we're taking within the portfolio. So actually our risk return outcomes were uh, surprisingly similar <laughs> over our careers. And as we return to this old normal environment, things are going to be moving quite quickly. You, you mentioned there's kind of a lot of opportunity out there. Mm -hmm. And how important is this, a quick decision making process in this environment? And, and how does the boutique sort of structure play into that? Yeah, so that was actually one of the big drivers for us to come on board in Ned Group because we both are, have a background in boutiques and we're very much driven by that short um, kind of decision making process where there are short lines that we can implement what we believe is the right decision very quickly onto the fund. It also allows us to be more entrepreneurial in the way that we run the money in the way that we implement it into the market. So yeah, it, made it, it was a big factor in the decision making process. Yeah, I to totally agree with that. I mean, Alex and I were each offered the opportunity to uh, take perhaps more corporate roles uh, with other organisations and, and we um, chose independently, but for very similar reasons, uh, th the opportunity that, that Ned Group can afford us. Well, it's fantastic well, and testament to what a great opportunity there is in the markets right now to be in fixed income. So thank you all for, for joining me today. Thank, thank you. you.